Just got done doing me a little minute on my cast net because it is eight o'clock. Yeah, that one. That was a nasty one. Got her taken care of though. Let's find some night crawlers. When I look for night crawlers, I always recommend checking under a gas can. Voila! Here, guys. Here's one. There's two. Gas can night crawlers are the absolute best. I swear to God, they are. State law. Alright, for real, we're gonna go catch the bait because I want to go fishing Friday and I need bait. Okay, let's go. Got the Coca Cola and the Minnow Meth, better known as Better Bait. I don't know how it's different in other places, but at least in Iowa, you gotta bring your own water. You can transport live bait, except for like the invasives and stuff like that, but you gotta have your own water, and I believe that's because of the BHS dealing with Bob. Like that virus they don't want to spread around which I can hop on board with that so yeah fall time I like big baits end of summer I like big baits big baits aren't always easy to get but I'm gonna give it a try hopefully not fall I've got a bucktail tied on I'm gonna try that first just in case there's like a random walleye or something hanging down here so I've never caught one per se but uh I've thrown a net on one before. Oh, yeah. It, there's just something special about stillos. I think they're pretty neat. Not a whole lot of water, but there is some water. A lot, but so. Okay, let's let's fish. I see carp down there. I think they're a little big, like little baby carp. Oh, well, that one looks about. That one looks about the right size. You probably can't see anything I'm talking about. But I promise, there's carp down there. And after I try the bucktail, let's see if I can throw a net on one. We'll try the bucktail, and then the crawler, jig and crawler. Yeah, there's some big old carpers down there. Cool enough. Something hit it or I hit it. Is that a quarter or an eighth? I'm throwing a quarter ounce bucktail in like two feet of water. Whatever. <laughs> There's a little depth there. There's a little rock there. One more cast with the bucktail. Right down there. I just want to feel something stone it. Like that. Oh, there's a rar eye, I think. Is that a northern? Is that a musky? Oh, get up here. Oh. Man, he de boned that thing. <laughs> well, I'm probably not going to use him for catfish bait. He, he never had the hook. How ridiculous is that? I don't think he did. I have no pliers. Definitely gonna have to retie. Don't want to lose a finger. I don't even know how you're connected right now. That's kind of cool. It's been a long time since I've caught a northern of any size. Okay, um, good luck. Yeah, he took off. Figure that. That was like the last thing I expected to catch. I do know now that pike are hard on a bucktail. Also know you can throw a quarter ounce bucktail effectively in two feet of water. It's just a day of learning. It's a good day. Going to the jig and crawler. I'd eat that. Just kidding. How much would it take for me to eat a nightcrawler? Ten bucks? I might do it for ten bucks. I could use ten bucks. Okay. Baby carp. That would be sweet. 
Hmm. I think I just got jacked. Yep. It's one little twitch. Bait gone. Maybe two crawlers ain't gonna be enough. Maybe I should quit leaving the tail. I kind of really do want to catch a walleye. Even though I'm not gonna use them for bait. I will use them for dinner. I feel like the little tail um, is more likely to call a rar I am. Or something. Oh, Mr. Bullhead. It's not the time of year I really want you. Oh, uh, do I even keep you? Should keep you and put you in my aquarium. Need water. I bet you are who took my bait the last time, too. I have a feeling there's bajillions of these guys down there. Just get that vibe. There's something that just took off. Bruiser bullhead, though. He's a funny looking bullhead. I don't know. Different species, white belly. Which kind of have white bellies? I don't know. It just looks different. Might be the same. Not a fish taxonomist. Fine looking specimen as far as bait goes. Well, I got the carp looking at it. And they bailed. Eat it. I just want to use you for bait. 10 inch carp. 10 inch carp. Got him that time. Gilly. Also known as catfish bait. See something flashing. Hopefully they're baby carp. Except they're probably stupid crappies that I can't keep. That's exactly what they are. <sighs> Wonderful bait, you just can't keep them out of the cast net. Carp little sucker. That'll work. Yes. The blue eel. Blue eel's gotta go back. But you exactly what I was looking for. That's a beautiful bait. And so are you. Don't think I'm neglecting you. You're a wonderful bait as well. You would be okay, but can't keep you. You're a game fish. Another sucker. Sweet. Oh, he wasn't even in it. He was just tangled in it. That's a beautiful sucker. Oh, I thought that was like, well, that looks like toilet paper. The upside is, if it was toilet paper, it would uh, have been dissolved, so it's something else. Probably worse. Ugly feeling. But sometimes those catch fish. It's not this time.
He might be a little big. It's like a 17 inch quill bag. <coughs> a little big for hauling in the big little bait tank. Oh man, that's a good bait though. Tough to corral. I don't know. That's really bad. Sometimes in these situations you can sometimes in these situations you can actually sight fish them. I don't see anything. I don't know. We'll make a toss. Be a big fat goose egg. Oh but there's a bud light can. That's good. Uh, definitely not going to be able to throw a cast net through that. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. But do go back to the spot you started. Because there's some fish there. Honestly, I'd be happy with another three more baits like that. Uh-oh. That's kind of big. I wondered if I'd run into one of these. I like one about a quarter of that size. Don't tear up my net, I just fixed it. He's almost, almost size. Bro, bro, calm down. It's okay, I'm letting you go. You will not be bait. You've outgrown bait. Except in unique special circumstances when I can call, haul a ton of big baits around. I'd think about it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go dump the baits into the aerated live well. Uh oh, got one going belly up. Gotta hurry up. And uh, hopefully come back down and get some more. That's the goal. Come on, buddy. You can do it. I don't have very many, you're all precious. Well, it's getting dark. Mm, I think there's something in it. A lot of somethings. Holy cow. Hopefully they're the right. There's a lot of crappies in there, but hopefully something I can use. You flopped a long ways away. You gotta go. You can go back here. Tad big. Okay, crappie's back. I'd feel bad about throwing fish that far. But I mean, the DNR stocks them in places, dropping them out of an airplane. So when I saw that, I suddenly didn't feel quite as bad. But all things considered, if it wasn't for this scenario, I would rather let him go closer, closer to the water's edge. That was an ugly throw. Might have threw it on something. Uh, can't tell for sure. Crappies, bluegill, and drum. What are you? Crappie, crappie, bluegill, drum. Nothing that I really want. At least one crappie. Apparently the crappies come out at night. One buff though. I'll take you. You definitely do not go back. You definitely belong in the bait tank. Alright, time to go home. Cook dinner. <sighs> oh, there's crappie. Weird. So this fly fishing for real. Instead of watching TV, I go catch bait. Instead of tuning into Netflix and chill, I'm like working on rigs and stuff or editing video. And I wouldn't want it any other way. It's a, it's a whole lot of fun. So if you're thinking about flyhead fishing being your thing, that's kind of what you can expect if you want to get on fish consistently. I really appreciate you watching for real. If you like the video, like the video. Uh, it helps me a lot and I, I really appreciate it. So 
You guys are awesome. Everybody watches my video. It means a ton. Thank you so, so, so very much. Hope you catch a giant.